morning everyone another rainy day here in uh, New Jersey and in this video I want to share with you guys what I have been doing for my N62 um, 650 here to stop oil leaks um, this car has 140,000 miles on it uh, so it's one of the older uh, 650s on the road as far as the forums go anyway um, and as you probably know if you're here watching this video, around 90,000, 100,000 miles you'll notice uh, some oil leaking uh, and it generally gets worse and worse. The main culprits are your alternator mounting bracket seal, which seals to the block. There's an O-ring behind there and that one can leak pretty bad if it goes. Um, your valve cover gaskets and your upper timing chain gaskets uh, they all start leaking so it makes a mess leaves oil stains in your driveway like the ones that are under there you can't see right now um, and it's frustrating because I'm capable of changing my valve cover gaskets okay but I know if I change those it's going to find the next weakest link and that's generally what happens when you try to patch up an old engine is you keep chasing the leak, you fix one gasket, and the next gasket starts leaking, and uh, it's an endless chase. So what I've decided to do since this vehicle, the 650 here, is pretty much end of life for me is, you know, I've started trying the various products on the market, some call them snake oil, some work, some don't. Um, but I think I've actually come to an equation here that has pretty much stopped the leaks and I've tried a lot of different products out there so um, I'm gonna tell you what I do first let me show you some of my leaks so here you can see right here you have your valve covers we have one on the left one on the right back there it's a little harder to see there but if you get in there you can probably see down there coated in oil um, they leak around here where it mates to the upper timing chain cover which is this metal cover in the front and then all along the bottom uh, it leaks especially in the creases there um, this vacuum pump actually likes to leak oil too which is actually a bad one because then it gets on your air compressor or air conditioner stretch belt down there which is a real pain in the ass to change ask me how i know um so i actually rebuilt this pump that was easy it just comes right off and it's two o-rings you can find how to do that on the uh, beamer fest forums um, but as you can see it's pretty dirty in there and I've stopped degreasing it and cleaning it up because it just leaks again uh, the one thing that is no fun with the other I shouldn't say the one thing one of the things that's really bad about the leaks is it'll get on your alternator down there which is in the bottom driver's side and that's not the most fun thing to replace either. I did mine about a year and a half ago. And it's still holding up. I don't think it's getting leaked on too much with my snake oil tricks. So let me introduce you to what I think works. The N62 engine is or calls for 5W30 viscosity full synthetic motor oil. So I started using, you know, probably around 100,000 miles, the high mileage Mobile One full synthetic. Uh, because it had additives in it, and uh, I figured, well, that's my first step in snake oil land. So uh, I tried that, and it slowed the oil leaks down a little bit, didn't stop them. Uh, and they say once you start with that high mileage oil, you've got to continue for the rest of the life of the engine. So I started with 5W30 full synthetic. And it just started to leak. I used various additives. We'll get to that in a minute. And what I've learned, long story short, on the viscosity side of things, is just step up your oil one notch in viscosity from the 5W30 to 10W40. And this is 10W40 full synthetic, high mileage, so it's got the additives that my engine's used to. Uh, and that's a thicker oil. It's still within BMW specification. Uh, I think you can even go a notch higher on the viscosity I read somewhere. Um, but the engine seems to love this stuff. It, it really slows down the leaks quite a bit. So switching to the higher viscosity is a great first step. Once you get over, say, 100,000 miles, just to slow down those leaks. Now, another one that you'll notice on these V8s and 750, 650, 645s, any of these BMW V8s, is um, 
You might have noticed if you're at an idle for a long period of time and then you hit the gas, you see a puff of whitish or bluish smoke. Uh, now I got it a little bit. Now it's important once you see that happen just a little bit, that's your valve stem seals and that job is no fun. It, you need special tools, it takes, it's backbreaking work. I'm not even sure I would attempt that job. Um, BMW asks, I think seven, eight thousand dollars to do the job. If you find a really good independent, they'll do it for twenty five hundred, three thousand. Uh, it's very involved, very difficult job. So back to the snake oil. <clears throat> There's a product for that, and it actually worked really well for me. AT two hundred five reseal. Once I started using it, it um, it considerably cut down on my uh, my smoke from idle. I don't actually get it hardly at all anymore. I haven't noticed it. So good product. It's very thin in viscosity when you pour it into your crankcase. Uh, it works very well for me. Other products did not work so well. If you're already leaking significant oil, um, changing just the oil viscosity may not be the only thing you need to do. You might want to, before you even do your next oil change, um, throw in some of this. And this stuff worked really well for me too. Bars Leaks Rear Main Seal Repair, okay? This one pretty much stopped dead in its tracks any additional leaking I had after the viscosity change, and it's been that way for thousands of miles, not even a drop. So you put this in your, uh, in your crankcase, go out and go for a long drive. It says within two days you should get the maximum results. Um, I drove down to the... New Jersey shore and back over a hundred miles. By the time I got back, everything was pretty sealed up and there was no signs of leaks anywhere. So um, those are my tips. And like I said, I have pretty much no sign of oil leaks anymore. My engine's dirty, but you know, I'm gonna leave it that way because if I clean it, probably it'll free up some kind of leak somewhere. But um, these have really helped me, and until my valve stem seals get to the point where the AT reseal no longer um, is cutting it, then uh, you know that'll be end of life for this vehicle for me. But in the meantime, it's gotten me several more years life out of this engine without leaving oil puddles wherever I go. So uh, Old Faithful is alive, with me anyway, uh, with these additives, and they've uh, worked quite well. So hopefully that helps some of you guys.